Kevin, the last two game fours you guys have had, you guys came out uh, hyper aggressive, really intense. What was the key behind that? Is just sensing that you could finish it off, or what was it? Yeah, man, just you know, it's one to finish it off, one to come out here and play well, and not have any let ups. I think um, the last two game fours throughout the series, we've been playing well. We want to just keep it going. So, um, and we want to be better than we were last night. I think that's the that's the main thing. We watched some film and seen where we were a little bit, um, you know. Too, too relaxed and too playing, just playing with it, not playing with the edge that we play with, you know, game two. Uh, we play with it in spurts, but we got to put together a whole game, so hopefully tomorrow is even better. Did you feel like you had to take over in the second half? Or I, I just went out there, uh, I told Monty yesterday, I just went out there and played. I mean, you know, I didn't predetermine anything. I just, coach called my number. I scored a few times. He kept calling it simple. Kevin, you, uh, you've had a lot of bad at the bottom over the years. Uh, you know, when you when you think of him, what's, what's the first thing you think of? Uh, just tell us his love for the game is deep, you know. Um, I think was the most impressive to me is he continued to play for his country each summer. I think that's something that should be recognized. Um, he's, what, 39 years old, and he's playing his tail off, man. He looks great out there. Um, somebody that we're having a hard time standing in front of. Uh, but you can just tell how much he loves the game of basketball. And, you know, that's something that you can appreciate. You know, it's hard to see it from, like, you know, from watching on TV. Even you probably still see it from watching on TV. But when you're out on the court, it's on another level. It's, you know, he's just he, – he's someone that's a first ballot Hall of Famer who we enjoy having in this league. A lot of, a lot of us grew up watching Manu and really respecting this game. So play against him and – had battles with him year in and year out. It's, it's pretty epic. I don't think Greg Pavlovich's team has ever been swept in the playoffs like this. What are you expecting out of this team Monday night? I, they got swept before, right? I remember a few years ago Phoenix swept them. Am I right? Not sure. What are you expecting out of them tomorrow night? Though? I'm wrong? I don't think they know the Yeah. Huh? They have beat Phoenix since. You sure? No, Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix swept him. Did sweep. I don't oh, yeah, sweep him? Nah. Well, my basketball, <laughs> I got to go to basketball reference. I <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Pop. What do you expect uh, about that? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, I got off topic. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you, know, you know you know, what the Spurs are about. You know, they play 48 minutes, play it tough, play it hard, execute their system, and their crowd is, you know, one of the best in the league, one of the best in sports. So, you know, they're going to bring the energy. The team's going to bring the energy. They got a lot of pride. These guys are pros, man. So we can't look and, and we can't come out here and feel like, you know, we've won already before the game started. We got to go take it. Do you get a sense when you're playing the pace you want to play that they struggle to keep up with your pace? Yeah, I feel like that's been the story for us all year, man. When we, when we get it out on makes or misses, we get it out and run, run our offense. Um, and transition were pretty tough to stop. But that starts on the defensive end. I think the first quarter was horrible for us defensively. But, you know, they were shooting 63%. And then, you know, I look up, they're shooting 46%, meaning that, you know, it was a stretch where, you know, they might have you know, only scored a few possessions at a time, you know. So, whereas before, they were scoring every time down. And um, once we get stops and get out and run and find our shooters, find guys, get to the rim. Um, we're pretty tough, but also when they made a shot, we were pushing the ball. Draymond's really good at that as well. So um, that's always been the story for us: is you know try to up the tempo, but also play smart and disciplined. We wasn't as smart and disciplined last night with the 21 turnovers, but uh, I like our pace. This summer, after you signed, they, they didn't really have much money for the center spot. What have you kind of thought about the way they constructed with that low budget with you know, Zaza, Faye, West, Javale on, on you know, minimums and what they've done in that spot? Uh, they've done a great job. You got to give credit to the front office and also Coach Kerr for knowing, you know, what D West brings to the table, Zaza, Javelle, and putting them in positions to be successful, and and also having, you know, so many smart players that can, you know, different guys that can dribble, that can pass, that can shoot, and it makes it easier for everybody. You know, having Andre Hooper handle, having Steph, 
play Draymond and myself that can handle the ball and create for others, it makes it easier for the bigs. I know you've never played there, but Last question. Can you, can you, do you appreciate the way that San Antonio seems to always uh, look out for the long term interest of their players? You know, I went back to, you know, Tim didn't play that playoff series, went back when, and you know, now they're, they're obviously taking a real careful with Kawhi situation where maybe a lot of guys with Wada trying to push through it, they're not letting them. Do you, do you as a player kind of appreciate what they, how they approach things? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the bigger picture, I mean, they they make it about the players, which it should always be about. And, you know, I'm sure that the fans and even Kawhi wanted to play on a, on a you know, hurt ankle. Um, but he's 25 years old, got a lot of great basketball left in him. And, you know, the risk to reward, I don't know, you know, if it's worth it to maybe risk a, you know, making it worse to go out there and play. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, you never want to see anybody hurt, but you want to, you always want, you know, guys to have a long career and, and you know, finish out their career on their terms. So I think that's most important to hear what Coach Poppy sees the big picture. He knows that, you know, he has a long career ahead of him and hopefully he continues to get better and the ankles get stronger. But, you know, you got to appreciate the organization who puts the players first instead of worrying about wins and losses all the time. Great.